Hey, what's up guys, Boba Rail here, and today I wanted to show off some of the new potential outfit combinations using the cosmetics in Season 9 Stalkers. <laughs> So the other day when me and Chris were doing our review of this battle pass, we noticed that some of these cosmetics would work really well with each other or with existing cosmetics from previous seasons. Season 9 is in my opinion one of the best we've ever had for cosmetics, so without further ado, let's jump right into some of these outfits. Alright, so first I want to talk about the most basic of these cosmetics that will likely be included in a lot of people's outfits. That of course being the Zone Patrol jacket and jeans, which has three variations, those being veteran, camo, and rugged. These will likely be a lot more popular than the stalker sets because of the fact that you can change out the headgear with these. So really, these are just nice dark bases to put whatever you want in the headgear department. The one I want to showcase for the veteran style here is my SAS operator. This is kind of the reference image I was going for, but like I said, this jacket with jeans is just a really good base for any special forces blacked out type builds. So you can really do a lot with it. Next style we have is the camo, which is really good for forest base builds and things of that sort. I personally think it works really well with the trapper's hat, shemog, and combat goggles, going all green with this one, and the camo styles of balaclava also look quite nice. And then for the last style, I'll talk about the rugged variant a bit more later in the video. Next up, I want to talk about the new headgear set, that being the Mass Defender. Now, interestingly enough, this is just the Alton we got in Season 4 without the front face cover and with a balaclava underneath it. But this, when paired with the Mercenaries outfit, makes a really awesome looking Russian FSB build or the counter-terrorist unit for the Soviet Union. This complements the AK series really well, so I think I'll definitely see myself running this at least some point during the season. Now let's talk a bit about snow builds here because they're some of the most popular. Still, I'd say the best outfit for snow builds is the Season 4 Warlord's Jacket or the Veteran Urban, but we did get some good options for headgear with the Mass Defender Snide Op variant and another Balaclava reskin that is very nice for snow. There's also the option of the CCP Gas Mask White, which is good for snow, but personally I like it more with a civilian slash scavenger type build, like this one using the blue vest. There are other variants for the CCP gas mask, but honestly, I really don't like the bronze brimming on the green one, and the fact that you can't put a helmet over top of them makes it lose out to some of the other gas mask options in my opinion. Now to close this video out, I want to go back to the zone patrol rugged and really embrace the stalker fan in me. So here I made a build that I think complements the new shotgun skin and closely resembles the early game bandits from the stalker series. This bandolier bag is honestly what makes the build for me because those shotgun shells across the strap are just so clean and I think a lot of people will be using this. Oh, and quickly I'll show off the three full body sets for this season, which are cool and I like them, but I prefer the other gas masks over this new one, so I don't see myself using them that much. Anyways, that's all the outfits I've got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this showcase of some of the new cosmetics. If you'd like to see some more, just comment down below or join our Discord and ask me to make a specific build. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.